Waddle Ned here to dig a 1870s boarding house. We're uh, preparing right now. It's really early. On a Sunday, I wish I wasn't up. I might have COVID. Or I just inhaled too much concrete dust. So, this is a trash can. We're gonna go find some aggregate fill to use as a road base. We're gonna drill through some concrete. We see a sink out behind this 1870s boarding house. Oh, here's Bob! 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 Wow, we're looking for antiques today and we've just found our first one. A relic from the 80s. Hey man, if anybody is a relic from the 80s that's got as much going on as I do, you're damn lucky. That's true, you got a lot going on in every way. Biceps. Sometimes. sometimes. Triceps. Once in a while, on my better days. Stomach. Yeah. On my better days. Pretty small. You know? Glutamus Maximus. Maxi pad. <laughs> Man, it's nice to do. Adult Depend diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no Depends for you, it depends. I got my favorite shirt on. Dun, dun, dun. Generic middle-aged man fisherman shirt. You gotta get some air in my front tire. Good to know. Great, makes me feel good about driving on the freeway. Well, that's why I took this out now, so I'm not doing it later in case I have to do this. We have hoes, but do we have bitches? You gotta get a bitch. <laughs> we're not taking my piece of shite. No, we're not. <laughs> this freaking guy, filling his tires up. Should have done this shit last night, bitch. You're gonna have to eat the donut of failure. The COVID donut. We got like concrete to break, giant holes for a boarding house to dig, and this mother hey, 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 filling up his tires. It's your, it's your dig. We should have met at six o'clock. Six o'clock. You can't wake up the tenants at six o'clock. Honky ass cracker. Ugh, it's too early for this shite. Here's our pile. I don't know. Hey, come on, man. What? Here, we should lift it in there. Or Scared to get your it. truck dirty? Put a lot of it first. Yeah. Oh, the many trials and tribulations before you find the bot. It all has a purpose though, you'll see. You'll see, we're not crazy. Here we got the USA markings, just to make sure we're not <laughs> breaking through an electrical line. Beautiful. Here's the side of the original boarding house. It was built about 1875 to 1880 period. Got the early tongue and groove siding. There's some, there's some nice uh, trim around the windows. Gabled roof. Yeah. Nice old style. This was a boarding house for uh, iron workers and factory workers in the 1800s. They might have been drinking. A typical boarding house in the Old West consisted of a large number of bedrooms, a big washroom, a communal dining room, and parlor. There were many different kinds of boarding houses in the Old West. There were the boarding houses for genteel folks, widows, traveling salesmen, people that were trying to buy a home, people that had just gotten there, people that were just about to leave. These were the upper middle class accommodations. They were today's equivalent of extended stay hotels and were often operated by women. Running a boarding house was one of the most respectable occupations for women in the 19th century West. Then there were the lumberjacks, the miners. They had their boarding houses out in the wilderness, in the redwood trees, in the deserts, in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. Buildings crammed full with sweaty men drinking all night and working all day. Then there were the boarding houses in big cities. The factory workers' boarding houses, like the one we're digging, and also the real cheap places, the rat traps. These boarding houses catered to winos. They cost a nickel a night. Everyone was crammed together in one sweaty, musty, moldy, damp sleeping room. Beds packed with no space in between them. 
You'd be sleeping an inch away from somebody's smelly butt. There'd be bed bugs biting you. People would be snoring and wheezing and coughing all night. And the heat would be oppressive. My feet is bouncing. It's hollow, hollow void. Okay, we've uh, sawed a nice square over the area we've identified. Feels like some glass, some rust. And some bob. <laughs> Do it, a little bit of concrete. They didn't have music this cool at the clubs back in your day, did they, Bob? Yeah, they did. They had really good techno. They had but techno? I, better techno. But this is house. No, I know, but I did. They did. Have you ever heard of. Oh, you missed one, you fool! You fool. Uh, I better slow down. What is, what is it? Uh, turn, 90s, pharmacy. Oh, it's a Seeger. Right there, there's a. There's I see a, it, I see it, I see it. STD, Remini. Could you fetch me my gonorrhea injector, please? Whoa. Yeah. You, know, you could actually do with your digging. It's cool, the, uh, the plunger is actually a teal color. For those who don't know, it wasn't until the turn of the 20th century that the federal government started to regulate the sale and distribution of narcotics such as cocaine and heroin. Before then, heroin was packaged and legally sold to the public as medicine. Don't take your boat shoes off yet. <laughs> take your, you can leave your boat shoes on. <laughs> what is it, man? Hutchinson soda water. Whoa, little dude. It's a little dude. Is that a mini bottle? <laughs> no, it's a doll. But it's like a, a really small one. Oh. Double the amputee. Oh no. <laughs> Looks like a. Um... And we got a paneled mug. This is a really old style of mug. It's got panels. It's like sided. 1870s style so this hole was open in the 1870s they were probably dipping it that's a shaving mug huh. Look at the base of this hutch it's got this candy cane swirl in it like it's like a snake in there that is some kind of addition to the glass Maybe some slag or some cullet of a different color that ended up in the glass batch. And this line of slag is just swirling through the bottle. That's actually in, in the bottle, in the glass. <laughs> Snikey. What'd you do? Something really, really sharp. I grabbed it. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, that's so fucking Whoa, jeez. <laughs> Captain Barney over here. That thing. That's an interesting object. Don't break that. 
that a piece of the building entablature? Bob, you've thrown up. <laughs> it's not a soap dish, huh? That would have a lid. Almost Asian looking, that dish. This finally came out. A piece of whole tile with a some seeds stuck to it. Interesting piece of terracotta. What is that? Got the grooves in it. Two-tone. Jeez. Trashy side, huh? What's that? Cod liver oil. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, 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 God, sorry, don't, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> don't pour that out. I apologize. I apologize. Oh, cod liver oil. The that smell is unmistakable. That would have been bad. That's going to have to uh, go ahead and go back in the hole. Oh, gross. Hey, look at this. Is that a replica of your wiener? <laughs> oh, I see. Whoa, bullet! Hey, here's yours right here. <laughs> a stubby one. <laughs> Whoa, they're bullets, man. They still got the powder in them and everything. That's super cool. Is this like a Winchester rifle or something? I don't know. Well, I thought you were the manly man well, with I mean, the gun knowledge. This is a cartridge. 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 On coffin boy, what do you want on your coffin? Don't you wish that was amber? <laughs> God, the ceremonial ah. reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Slightly lackluster. That's too bad. Jeez, that's a behemoth. Is that a mama? That's a big bottle. There's two. Pretty good size bottle. Oh, I see that behemoth. What, are you angling? Yeah, kind of. How is that? A Peruvian bitters? Is that an ammonia? <gasps> no, he's gas. Maltine. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Malt extract, really popular back then. The beer of health. No, not another one. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, there's a bunch of PU in here. Yeah, Bob's not doing it anymore. All right, filling it. We're doing the water compaction. Really satisfying, creating rivers. Whoa. This is just a compacted soil, so it all goes down again. Nice clean cut. Good times. Soak dish. Pharmacy. STD. Needle. Needle. Another pharmacy. Inkwell. Shaving mug, little doll, flask. <sighs> hey, you know, there's the road base. That's what you use it for. When you water jet the hole, it just sinks a lot. You know, it's kind of like simulating a rainy season, so you get some really good compaction. Stop. 
forward a little bit. Worked amazingly well. Okay, please lose this concrete now. Okay. You have a fetish with this, this hole. Here's something really trippy. In 1885, this bottle went through these front doors. 140 years later, here it is again in this exact same space. Hey Bob, stroke this flask. It make you feel comfortable. <sighs> How's it feel? <laughs> do it again. Stroke Come it. On, dude. Stroke it. Fine. No, no, stroke the embossing vigorously. Road. Don't watch, no, just stroke. Please. No, please. For you. There. I no, no, stroke it you harder. Can't touch this. I didn't harder. Touch it. Bob. Please stroke it again. <laughs> Come on, dude. I like the bottle, though. Touch it! No! You can't yes. touch this. Bow, 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 bow. Right. Here, it'll touch you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Dude, you're putting COVID on me. Relax. Stop soothing. Yeah, will you stop that? Soothing circular motions. Okay, thank you. Bob, here's what you need. Touch it. Bob, you know what you need? Coffee. Flask. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee. Flask. That's my life. That's my life. Every every week is my life. But it's missing one thing. <laughs> flask. It's hard work. Take a flask. Dude. Hey, ow. Ah. You need to add some uh, flask to that mix. Flask, 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 flask. Okay. The artist currently known <laughs> as Bob. For somebody that doesn't do this all the time, that's the best I could do. You know why you did such a good job, right? Don't, don't quit your day job. You know why you did such a good no. job? Why? It's because you stroked this flask.